Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I did not go pee, and I regret not doing that, because now I have to wait 35 minutes or so in order to do so. In the last video, all right, uh, Hearts of Iron 4, New Order, Last Year's Europe. In the last video, we started working on our um, nuclear power. And um, our nuclear status, I should say. We also started working on the new Siberian plan, but it's not fucking working, so fuck that. Fuck this bullshit. Chasing the sun. Alright. Um, so now we're waiting for uh, July 71 to talk with the Russian Federative Republic. And hopefully we can get something good going. In fact, I'm going to save real quick. I've only saved, I think, one or two times in this whole series. Uh, three times. But still. The one of those might be an autosave, because I tried out Tomsk a little bit ahead of time. Oh my god. Um, economy. Cut civilian spending, cut military spending. Hell, even cut construction, because we're doing okay, for the most part. Okay, RPG 7s. We got outdated equipment. Get out of here! What else? Um, support weapons, get working on that. Got Yak Freeze, Yak Freeze, Ill Tens, and MiG Threes. Got free dockyards. What do we want to build? I guess we're going with convoys. Mill MI2. No change in the Tomsk elections. Um, I guess let me talk about the country. Because I've, I've played it a while, Tomsk a while, and it's fun. But let me, I guess I'll critique it a bit. Um, the Duma is really fun and interesting at the start. Oh, begin unification talks. Wait, can I not? Okay, let me load the auto save. Maybe there's something up. Did I miss something? Or maybe I... Okay, maybe what I have to do is prepare for war. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Begin unification talks. There we go. The Siberian, the Siberian Republic has overcome its obstacles and conquered all of her nations in its way, either through peaceful reunification or forceful war. Mostly forceful war. Actually, these little guys down here, we got... Oh, well, not these, those guys. Um, these guys we got peacefully. Um, the situation it faces now, however, is a unique one. The provisional Commissariat of Western Russia does not wish to spill blood, as we have a government that is sympathetic to ours. We must undergo a long and arduous process of binding our two nations together, so that we shall stand strong when the rest of Russia is within our sight. This will tighten the leash on our administration, but it will be worth it in the end. Pushing ever onwards. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Oh, now we have decisions for this. Okay. electrify the countryside and then more computer designs so I have to say I was war so I guess the talks are gonna start up now right no 
Original MI2, Tom's Cow Selections. Literally it means fucking nothing. Let's work on support companies. Uh, logistics company. Actually, field hospitals. Let's start with that. I've been working on improving our artillery for almost a year now. Probably not worth it, I'll be honest. Still working on negotiation. I mean, we have a sympathetic ally right here, so I don't want to declare war or anything. Of save, so we'll see what is happening. Um, okay, I, I was talking about uh, Tomsk. It's an interesting system, but as soon as you go with um, you unify Central Siberia, it feels kind of... I don't know how to put it. Kind of meh. Yeah, that, that, that's a good way to put it. Just kind of meh. Enemies artillery improvements. Well, we're, we, we're ahead of time on that at least. Uh, we'll know our artillery is a little bit better than everyone else's. Recon Company 3s, let's get working on that. We'll get a division template. We'll go with the um, tanky boys, duplicate them. Fly, fly E boys. And if you're wondering, is this what I think it's going to be? Pretty much, yeah. Just got to get some more factories going. Can and we should have a while back, honestly. Financial market development. Are we are we talking with them? Are you winning, son? Are we winning? Our national focus that we've done all of this. I think they're back to... No, all is not well, apparently. Okay, I think for now, we should just abandon the idea of these guys doing anything. For now. Just realize we haven't looked at our industry stuff for a while. We might want to... Check that and start researching some stuff. What else but more boats? More boats to float. Oh, okay, our new Siberian plant is actually developing now. That's nice. Um, boats, please. Okay, like the Duma. You have some stuff where you actually have to work the Duma. And actually get them to support you, and that's cool. But after, like, you unified, maybe it's just a path I did, but there's not much to it. Well, expand university systems, I guess. Um, should we, like, prepare for a reunification war or what? Hello? 
Auto save. So Beer and Republic has overcome its obstacles. The final conflict. Yep. Um, hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Let me, let me reload it. Maybe there, there's an issue going on here. Oh, mein Gott. This is, a uh, nicht gut. Nicht gut indeed. Um... Reunification of Russia. Grand Showdown. We can negotiate licenses with them, but that's really about it. Okay, so I'm realizing. They were talking about Russian reunification being broke. Unless I'm just too eager here. It might be broke. I don't know. But what I do know is, um... Okay, let me tag over to tag total. Is there, like, nothing we can do? Tag ERS. I mean, I'll wait a while, but if I can't do anything, I might just have to tag annex them. I'm not even going to pretend you're like, oh, I sneeze and they just disappear. I if I don't do anything... The, the fucking game won't continue. Come on. <sighs> Jesus. Hey, we have the uh, Algerian military territory. They are vibing. Is this, is this not going to work? Okay, I'll, I'll wait until September for something to pop up. I'll reload the saves. I'll do whatever. If it doesn't work out, I'll just tag annex them. I don't care. I know it's going to be anticlimactic, but this is all just anticlimactic right now. Let's be real. We no longer have the effects of civilian austerity. Oh, they fucking killed the Shah, Jesus. Okay. God damn. They're not fucking around, are they? Okay, um. I don't know what to do. Alright, we started working on the special forces and then never got to that. Expanded Special Forces program. Because they don't give us divisions to work with. That's what I'm going to blame it on. That and Panzer. I'm going to blame it on both of them. Okay. Um. Good luck with that, Italy. I 
else to do. Okay, fuck it. I'll, I'll load a save. Hopefully that'll fix things. If not, I don't know what'll what'll do it. Okay. Is there anything here? Well, I guess... I don't know what else to fucking do! I'm not even gonna make a joke, because I don't know what to do! I'm sorry. Oh, wait, no. T tag. ERS. Annex. I'm used to tagging over. Okay. Annex top. I don't know what else to do. I really don't. Um, other than integrate all these guys. It's a good thing I've been saving up on PP. Pee -pee. At least I can make... At least I can still make that same fuck, lame fucking joke. Oh, Lennon's body. Who? Revolutionary, get a look. We can get a mausoleum. Oh, we can't do that. Um, let's fucking leave him be, I guess. All right, so we got an arsenal, Lennon's body, an arms factory. A motorized for factory, a gulag's captured. Never again, not like this. We got stuff. Not only that, we are. on the warpath. Wait, we have to control these guys, and I don't know if we get a fucking event for that. I don't even know if they're supposed to still be here. Ah, God damn it. Enix URL. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I have to do this to you, buddy. Enix or Not so sorry for you, because you gave me a bit of trouble. I remember you did it. Oh. Please tell me the game isn't going to crash. Oh, alright, it's just... The Iranian Civil War, okay. Persian powder cake explodes at last. Yep, we are just gonna annex shit, I guess. There we go. Orsk is all the... <sighs> this is not how I wanted to unify Russia. But I guess it's what we gotta do. In a research slot, and we will become known as the Republic of Russia. The Russian Republic returns. The artists and scholars of Tomsk were once mocked for their idealism. After all, what examples had the world seen of Russian democracy? Kerensky and Pasternak's failures seemed proof enough that no republic would endure in Russia. Now, the doubters are silent. Tomsk's strange, rotating constitutional system has spread from the Pacific Sea to the Reich's doorstep. Where there was once poverty and rife, the modernists and their president Andrei Sakharov have dared to build schools and modern industry. The Republican army, once a disorderly militia, brings to bear modern equipment on its long border with the Unity Pact. That reminds me, I probably should move my border and prepare. Its generals, veterans of multiple campaigns, are among the most skilled experts of, technocratic rep of a technocratic republic. Now the modernists propose to bring their perfected science of war to the Reich and all other enemies of the Russian people because one cannot stand against pr progress.
Every addition to true knowledge is an addition to human power. Intellectual freedom. That's for full content? Really? Aww. Well, that's just an underwhelming ending. Damn it, I couldn't even fucking... Am I not gonna go to war with Muscovian? Huh? Am I not gonna be able to... Take out the Reich? Possibly lead to nuclear war? And Holocaust? Nuclear Holocaust, I mean not an actual real life Holocaust. Fuck. Well, we've already stooped to this level. We might as well go all the way. We did it, boys! We kicked Germany out of Russia in a totally legit way. Are we going to be able to core it? Nope. We, they don't even have events for that. Okay. Well. <sighs> oh, Italy has acquired nuclear weaponry. Okay, I'm gonna tag shy. I'm gonna do one thing to see if we can't put the series forward a little longer. Oh, we have a technology, huh? Well, <coughs> yeah, I don't care yet if you have a fucking technology. All right, focus, focus. Dot no checks, focus. Dot dot autocomplete and we have to go down to this level boys I'm disappointed too all is well all is not well but who gives a fuck uh mandate of heaven who cares labor liberation is out of the mind sure sure My standards uh, competing with Japs sure if not then a good education scholarly population we're smart boys Tanks are nothing before the Chinese mind. A literate population. China will prepare. Education fully modernized. Kappa. Perhaps the next century will be the Chinese century. And the conference. China would die or would liberate the Eastern continent. Now all there was to do was decide which. Okay. March forward with change. New theory for a new China. China must be free onwards. So tag ERS. Alright, let's move people to Manchukuo. Our tanky boys. Have more boys with them. Very nice. Um, for tanks, we'll go ahead and move them. Um, where we want to move them. Um. Offensive line. Let's do it along the river. And front line, we'll have you guys go. Who does this guy look like? Um, Ed Harris. I think that's his name, right? Ed Harris? Well, um, the new Siberian plan isn't really progressing much. Because that seems to be broken. Just like my hopes of uh, finishing this game and having a climactic reunification of Russia. Huh. <sighs> Now that's what I get for playing a minor. Oh, that's not what I get. Um, no, I had fun nonetheless. I'm just kind of giving the mod shit now because it kind of ended in an anticlimactic way, and I'm kind of bummed about that. Um, is China gonna 
Unite against her greatest foe, huh? Are you guys gonna go ahead and uh, declare war in Japan? Hmm? And I swear to Christ, this is just. This is soul crushing. Well, I guess we gotta go to the console. Um, and you know what? Just for good measure. All right, we did it, boys. We had a big climactic battle where we went after um, Manchuria. We reconquered Moski Kai. We took back Vladivostok. Khabarovsk is back to us. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but it's ours. Um, we got um, uh, Sakhalin. Uh, Tokyo, or as we're going to call it, New Moscow. We took revenge on Japan for the Russo-Japanese War. Honestly, um, yeah, okay, let me actually load back to more serious. So we can actually look at what we did. Alright, yeah, this is up slightly more serious. Ignore the fact that we took back, um, you know, Arcane with Scorpion. Um, just, we're, we'll just put our screen over that. We did it. We, we did a good job. Actually, we, we probably need to move it to, like, there, because legitimately we had to annex that, but that's, that's neither here nor there, unfortunately. Um, I had fun. With the series, I know I got kind of pessimistic and downy at the end, but that's just because, you know, it was going so well. We're snapping, we're moving along, having fun, and then, just, I don't know, maybe it glitched out, maybe it's kind of unfinished, I don't know. It just kind of... Stagnated, I guess. You know, that, that's, that's fine. Because um, I had a lot of fun throughout the whole... Maybe not the whole thing, because, you know, the end cut it out. There's a bit of a middle part that was kind of just, uh... Well, not quite the middle, but the late middle part. And then the, you know, the end. You know, I had a bit too many glitches for my, uh... My liking, unfortunately. But, anyway, that's besides the point. What does Southern Theory give you synthetic oil? That's also besides the point. I had fun. And again, I want to give my love to the devs. Because they did a fucking great job with this little tree. There's a lot of fun intrigue and all that going on. Um, for my first Russian Unifier game, at least fully completed uh, on camera. Is that Ireland? What the fuck is Ireland doing here? I, I, there's no point in questioning it. Um, for my first full-blown full Russia game, you know, I... You know, I'm play legitimately, like on cam recording. I had fun, and um, I don't know what I'm doing for the next series yet. It's probably I'm probably gonna do the major, whichever one wins in the poll. So um, I'd say hold up, uh, get prepared for that. But by the time this is out, I've probably already started recording or streaming it. So yeah, but um, yeah, actually, I'm not gonna tag into Burgundy, but I want to see if I can do the funny, the funny nuke thing. Actually, I'll, I'll wait for an actual series to see, you know, if the actual nuclear apocalypse happens. Anyway, thank you for... Uh, so, yeah, that's really it for now, because I don't know what else to do. Um, it's 4 a.m. I've been recording since probably 4 p.m., or even not that late, but around that time, so that gives you an idea. And I've had, I, like I said, I had fun, but fuck, I'm tired. I stayed up way longer than I should. 
I'm going to hate myself in the morning even more than I already do. But we saw some cool stuff. We just saw, we saw how just crazy things can get. Um, what else? So yeah, that's really it. If you liked this video, alright, let me restart. Thank you all for watching the series. Um, I'm just looking at my, um, the first free uploads of, um, my first series. And my channel is fucking blown up. I'm closing in on 100 subs within the first, like, fucking three days of uploading that. And it's insane. And I don't know how I got that far, but I'm... I'm grateful for it, and I appreciate you guys. I really do. Not all you're watching. Oh, it's Kumani. I know that guy. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna try stop it getting sidetracked. Um, thank you all for watching. And uh, supporting me. Uh, again, thank big thank you to the devs, not only for making this great mod, but they shouted me out on the uh, TNO Discord in a little uh, streamer and uh, Let's Plays thing. That was so fucking cool. Like they shout out my stream and then they shout out my uh, major poll video, which is yeah, you know, cool. I appreciate it a lot. It's a lot of just a lot of love to you guys. Thank you guys, really. Um What else? Um yeah, thank you for you for watching, especially if you made it through the whole series. I had fun. Kind of got a little stagnate at the end, but I had fun. I hope you guys did too. So with that said, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to dislike. It's okay. It really is. It uh, it helps me um, with a viewer, was it, viewer engagement. So it gets me higher up in the uh, in the uh, algorithms anyway. So it doesn't matter either way. Um, I think that's how it works at least. So yeah, thank you. Um, if you have any comments, feedback, anything of the sort, go ahead and leave the comments section below. Especially if you want to help me come up with my new series, which one I'm going to be doing next. I kind of have, I'm going to do whichever major wins, and then I might do another major after that. Um, I'm probably going to wait until the next update when they add England's content, which should only be like a, a few days from now. And by the time this is out, you know, it's going to be. It's going to be dealt with anyway. It'll be done. Um, but yeah. Um, so if you want to keep up with all that, hit that subscribe button. Um, I do uploads every weekday of main series like these. This. And I also... Um, what was I about to say? The Iranian Revolutionary Alliance Collapse. Okay. Shit. Um... And sidetracked. Um, and I do random stuff on the weekends. I think that's where I was at. So yeah, if you want to keep up with that, subscribe button. I did comments. I have a Patreon link below. If you want to send a few bucks my way. If not, fair enough. But I'd appreciate it if you could. We have Discord. If you want to check that out, um, we can chat, play games, just have a fun time in general. And I have a a Twitch where I'm probably gonna stream my uh, next series. Sorry, proof course. Probably gonna be. St st I'm probably gonna start uploading it anyway but still you get the idea so yeah if you want to check that out uh hit the follow button keep up to date with when i go live go ahead and do that please but yeah that's about it for now folks um thank you all as always for uh, watching and um yeah that's really it thank you guys i appreciate it a lot and uh, i'll see you all uh next time goodbye